Hey guys, it's Charlie and I'm super excited to be sharing with you my first ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Ow. <laughs> Hey there people, welcome back to Viral Wave. We hope you're doing okay. Tune in today's video to learn 10 things no one knows about Charlie D'Amelio. Make sure you're staying to number one as you don't want to miss out on a single fact that we have to share. Number 10, she has had years of professional dance training. Everyone thinks that Charlie has become an internet sensation with no actual skills. What they don't know is that she had more than 10 years of training in dance, and not just the training, she has showcased her talent on numerous occasions and actually won prizes. She was even declared the winner of a regional dance contest in Connecticut, her hometown. Not just that, if you check her Instagram, you'll find pictures of her with prizes from different competitions over the years. She has even got noticed by global pop artists like Jennifer Lopez and Bebby Rexa. The latter was so impressed by the teen talent that she personally called her up and asked her to perform in her dance group. She's also performed with G-Lo. So haters might keep saying all they want, Charlie's a star on her own accord and she has risen to fame because she is so talented. Number nine, making dance routines for her friends. Charlie D'Amelio, believe it or not, might be the most popular artist on TikTok, but she did not even make an account there at first. She used to make dance routines for her friends who had their own accounts in the app, but stayed in the shadows, but never of her own. Can you imagine that a girl as talented as her did not prefer the limelight and stayed in the shadows? It took a long time for her friends and sister to convince her to post her own content. Later, she's often talked about how shy she was of herself and how she thought people wouldn't like what she she had to offer. Well, she has been proven wrong. She practically transformed into an internet celebrity with very less span of time. Who would have thought, right? Charlie herself certainly didn't think so, but that didn't stop her success. If only people would stop giving her a hard time. Number eight, she is not afraid to be herself. Charlie, who is only 16 years old, personally thinks that the reason she has so many fans and people of the same age group who like her is because she is very true and honest as a person. Sure, there are millions of views on the videos that she makes of her dancing, but other than those, she posts normal person stuff like how her day went and what she is currently working on. Like most other teens, she also enjoys regular snack foods like iced tea and donuts, and is apparent from the videos she posts of herself. People who resent her just don't seem to acknowledge the fact that she is different from other stars, at least as long as maintaining a perfect image all the time is concerned. She is, in her own words, not afraid to show people that she really is into people. Number seven, she wasn't famous before TikTok. If you think that Charlie, like other celebs, has a superstar personality that she drops in a real life as well, you couldn't be more wrong. She was always a very shy girl who never stayed in the highlights. She goes to a private school in Connecticut and knows she's no superstar there. In fact, she never intended to become famous in the first place, let alone make a place in the list for internet royalty. She has always more quiet and subdued in comparison to her sister who has more stronger personality. Charlie has herself revealed that in an interview in the Entertainment Weekly that she never thought she would one day have so many people around the globe follow her dance moves that she makes in her own room. Number six, she was bullied growing up. Charlie D'Amelio might seem weird and arrogant at times, but it's not because she is full of herself or she has a braggart celebrity attitude. It's because like so many other people her age, Charlie was bullied growing up. She has confessed that she had a hard time being comfortable in her own skin. In elementary school, people made fun of her eating habits and she faced a really tough time. So before you assume that she's full of herself, just stop for a moment and think she's really giving her own self some time and effort. Number five, Charlie doesn't think of herself as a family brand. Many people have blamed Charlie of using her family just to brag about herself as a trophy member, whereas in reality, she's quite closely attached to her family. While there have been some videos where Charlie has been seen to be annoying her family, for instance, an Instagram live stream where she visibly argued with her mother over something as basic as cleaning a room, they don't really prove that they're in a bad place. What the haters don't understand is in these videos where the D'Amelios have apparently bickered are perfectly normal, amusing, even and nothing to draw serious conclusions from. She has even had live streams and interactive sessions with fans where her family members have joined in. Her sister is also a TikTok artist and they've shared screen. In fact, Heidi D'Amelio, Charlie's mother, Mother, has even stated how proud she is of her little daughter who has achieved so much in such a young age. Charlie has even said that she actually looks to her parents for support and it's quite evident that they do help their daughter a lot. Would you call that a family that isn't close? 
Number four, she struggles with online hate. Charlie's elder sister Dixie initially had an account in TikTok before Charlie did, and she seemed to be doing pretty well in it. However, when Charlie joined in, she had been at the receiving end of some pretty nasty comments. Later, when she became a complete celebrity and her fame increased, so did the hate. People didn't even leave her sister out of the dirt. They had received some really mean and hurtful comments as reactions that included them showing too much bone and being ugly. Charlie has said that she was even personally told that she had an ugly face and her body had a weird shape and that she actually was very hurt by these comments. Sometimes you might not like a person or the content they're posting, but haters seem to forget the fact that these are very real people with genuine valid feelings and saying mean and disrespectful things to them is wrong and incorrect. Number three, Charlie loves her fans. Even though the first meet and greet Charlie had with her fans caused some controversies because she had charged over $100 for each person's ticket to see her, the event was a great one. It went pretty smoothly as she met and interacted with all her fans, signed her autographs, asked the people how they were and performed a few dance steps with eager fans. And it has been like that since then. It's no secret now that she absolutely adores so many people who follow her from around the world. Like, compared to all the other TikTok, I feel like she's not as fake as them. She's like a real person that actually wants to talk to us. Charlie truly is a gorgeous person in real life. Not even a joke. <laughs> Look at her. Number two, Charlie's fans love her. No matter how strongly the haters offend Charlie or try to drag her through the dirt, she does not have to worry about it much because there are millions of her people who will support to the end. And this has been proved over and over. Whenever there has been controversy related to Charlie, whether it be at the issue of TikTok star Jacob Satorius or her public breakup with now ex-boyfriend Chase Hudson or her alleged public argument with friend and fellow artist Addison Rae in a parking lot, her dedicated fans have always had her back. So it's no surprise really that Charlie really loves her fans, even if some people don't understand her. I'm a huge fan. Good. Okay. Good um, and I have a question. So can you say hi, Joe? Because me and my friend Joe, um, we're great friends. And uh, we were... Is Joe real? Yeah, no, Joe's real. No, 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 Joe's real, Joe's real. And so um, we found you like at like 50K. Okay. And like we've been a fan of you since like, you know, the start. So I just want to say, can you say what's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Thank you. Number one, she's not really competing against anyone. It might not seem that Charlie's competitive against other TikTok artists, whereas in reality, this concept is totally not real and made up by fans. Most famous video compilations have been published on TikTok, and this is extremely opposite of what Charlie and her fellow TikTok stars are doing. Take Lorraine Gray, for example. She's clearly stated that she does not think Charlie as a competitor, but thinks of her as a sweet young girl who is actually very talented and has a long way to go. Another artist who Charlie is constantly compared with is Addison Rae, who in real life is so good friends with both Charlie and Dixie that the three of them are practically sisters. Addison is very close to the D'Amelio family and she and Charlie have even done YouTubers. The fans who encourage this kind of competition do not seem to understand that this put tons of pressure on their favourite stars. However, Charlie and Addison are pretty close friends and no matter what the haters say, they don't really seem to be going against one another. Hope it stays this way! So there are the things that you didn't know about Charlie D'Amelio. We hope you liked it. And while you were here, click on one of these two vids on your screens. See you there.